Corruptive politicians created the sinister devil to have a legendary fanciful someone to blame. When they are too sluggish to respond to crises, while too slow-witted to plan for the long term, at times of thickened economic and social unbalance. The politicians put the devil in their campaigns, attacking opponents like a hypodermic needle for sleeping with another three-green car. When all politicians are owned by the same interest groups, like robots with no difference between them. Their rascally speeches are highly irrelevant, as they diabolically smile within each false promise, clicking across a dumped-down cortex of the void with necessary obtuse fabrication ambition to implement jocular, comprehensive reform. Most politicians are best friends with the devil, not caring of calamitous changes in the markets, having no prudence with clarity and decisiveness, as the people being screwed sleep with them inside, unable to drown them from their tired minds. Wicked politicians are owned by military security when standing for war in dirty police states, while possessing an absence of weighty issues, not respecting its monumental constitution and its guaranteed protection of civil liberty. The devil belongs to both controlling political parties, where party loyalty is more sacred than commitment, not acknowledging their vow to uphold the constitution or serving the people of the land with biodiversity, while its citizens call it business as usual instead of treason. The Prince of Darkness politicians dominate the body politic, like an out-of-date fraternity of special handshakes, placing importance on their party over the interest of nation, patently in violation of their governmental service oath, committing a crime that should have legal consequences. Most politicians have moral decay, like a persuasive devil, reaching at the lowest end of politics for manipulation, with policies dinosaur-like filled with self-interest, all of which are paid by wicked corporate interests, taking the respect out of their own country. Most politicians are not the Christian humanitarians, as they claim. Letting children and elderly and those disadvantaged suffer. Then cheat the deceived, hard-working middle class. Jesus said, Whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers that you do unto me. And still most members of Congress consider themselves Christian. Most politicians create the devil to destroy dignity of brotherly love while ruining members of each party who are good men and women with a strong crusade to improve the declining country for they are overridden by the lowest common denominators of their respective indifferent satanic internal parties.